ate a lot of Chipotle and we're chips. Yeah, mm. and chips. <laughs> and now we're gonna um, do the senior uh, thingy. Senior poster speeches and the coaches speeches. That he said, what he said. Said. And I've been Jackman. And Will Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Go on, kid. Oh! So much being on the coaching staff this year. Although sometimes they suck, your workouts ultimately get stronger and better competitors. <laughs> designing our workouts and the effort you put in to do the workouts with us. You brought lots of positive energy to practice and didn't let us slack on the workouts. I'm happy to say that throughout the season, I was able to graduate from the 10 pound weight into the 25 pound weight. Woo! I know many of my teammates also increased their weight plate as they felt themselves getting stronger. I also want to thank you for coming to our meet yesterday. I appreciated you cheering on the course and helping me push the tough sections of the race. Best of luck as you go through your transferring process. runner um, as one of our coaches so it was Raul in previous years but you know Arjun's just as good or even better uh, yeah so it's been it's been great um, just for all the you know stuff that we need to know if it's advice on like, what shoes to get or how we should train or you know overcoming injuries or race strategy like Arjun knows everything about running and so he's, he's really made our whole team faster I think and it's just inspiring you know if we finish our practice and he goes out and does for fast workouts after practice in the dark. But it's always cool to see those on Strava and it's just good inspiration for our team in general. Uh, and Arjun, it's, it was kind of lucky that we had you this year, you know, we to take the gap year. But we're, we're glad that you were, you know, you decided to come and coach our team. It was great to have a former runner help us out. So thank you for everything you've done. incredible this year, an awesome coach. Um, I mean, he's been with us since the preseason in June, July. Um, and he's just done so much for us from running the workouts with Arjun, uh, the core workouts, uh, the pre-race meditation, which has, I found really helpful trying to get in the right mindset before a race, calm me down. Um, and I'm sure that you guys feel the same way. Um, and yeah, he's just done so much. Uh, he even uh, had to chase some kids down on the track, <laughs> trying to keep the track clear. Um, that was that was probably one of my favorite memories. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, he's just been an incredible coach. All four of our coaches are awesome this year. And um, yeah, thank you. Every workout, and I don't think I've ever heard of him playing. 
Also, last summer, I remember when I couldn't drive downtown to run, we would come over to my house and we'd run together in the mountains, so that was nice. Um, I know you'll do really good in college. We all wish you the best of luck, and we'll miss you and all you give to us. been a great leader for the team. I think he knows like every road in Los Gatos. Next year is just going to be a mess when we get lost every time. With his work ethic, I know he'll be successful in college and, and his Viking career. Justin, I hope you'll come back to run with us sometime. We're going to miss you. Work and time you put into school, and you appreciate your love for learning. I'm 
sports, it is obvious that you're one of the most dedicated and hardworking people on the team. After spending hours working on your latest ASR project, you would come to practice and do the workouts on your own. You would always push the intervals and often run faster than us, despite having no one to pace off of. During McKenzie's workouts, you never shied away from the heavier weights and would complete all of the reps, never cutting it short. Additionally, you're one of the only sprinters who is willing to run the longer cross-country races and challenge yourself by doing cross-country workouts as well as track workouts, often doing up to four workouts back to back. I'm not sure if many people know this, but after lockdown started, the issues would continue doing workouts with things found at home. I remember her once doing squats using a potted plant. <laughs> One of your qualities I admire the most is your friendly demeanor. During the summer, whenever the track team hung out, you were often the only one to text me and invite me. You made me feel included and part of the team. I know that everyone else on this team has also witnessed your friendliness and your efforts to include everyone. Your laughter always bright in practice and made the workouts not quite as bad. I have loved all the adventures we've been on, going on fun weekend runs, to surfing, and going on bike rides around town. Thank you for always pushing me to become a better athlete, student, and person. You've been such a positive influence in my life, and I'm beyond excited to track and see what you'll accomplish. I know you'll be a really tough competition for me in the eight, and I will appreciate having you step up your workouts with me. You've made the cross country team a better place by distilling your work ethic and making everyone smile and laugh. I love our parking lot conversations and your ability to make competition go freely and effortlessly. You've taught me so much, and I will always cherish the time I got to spend with you. I hope that you enjoy your last few months of high school and continue to be a kind and dedicated person. I can be graced with what I look like. So, <laughs> so, as many of you know, I'm not a runner. Shocking, right? So, I'd like to thank all of you for bearing with my workouts. I know I pushed all of you probably to do a heavier weight than you wanted to do at first, but it has been such an amazing experience getting to instill all of the hard work that I've learned through weightlifting in my own personal experiences. And, you know, I used to train as a powerlifter and everything before COVID hit. So it was really sad once that happened and I lost a lot of what I did and trained for. And then I got to start instilling some of that onto all of you. So thank you so much for that because it has been a highlight of my time as well, getting to see all of you grow, not only just with the weight plate, but getting to know all of you. And I know I haven't been able to go to all of the meets. Um, some of you know I work four jobs, so I'm kind of just everywhere all the time. If you're ever at Almaden Valley Athletic Club, I'm there all the time, so I'll see you there. But thank you for inviting me to be a coach here and for bearing with my workouts. And you're all amazing. And it's such a pleasure getting to meet all of you. And I might be sticking around for track season, so I hope to see you all then. All right. This has been my second year with all you guys. Uh, those four seniors, uh, you know, I was, um, I was running on the same team as you guys. So it's been really cool to see everyone's growth over these past couple of years um, that I've had uh, to really see how you guys grow as both as people and as athletes and the amount of progress you've made. And particularly this year during COVID, uh, you guys have made this job absolutely everything to me. Um, I was talking to Mr. Holm a couple weeks ago, um, and he asked me, what's, what's the, the defining factor of uh, being a coach for you right now? And I was able to say, completely honestly, uh, as, as you know, uh, us three, we're in college right now, and it's, and it's, a, t it's, it's a time in our lives, and it's gonna be a time in your lives where you feel like you're taking a lot more resources than you're giving, uh, and there's, there's a whole lot of of selfishness involved in trying to get ahead in, in college. But this is three hours a day where I can just give you guys everything I have and you literally take it and run with it. You do such an amazing job making this the best three hours of my every single day. So pat yourselves on the back. This has been an amazing year despite literally everything that could have gone wrong. And that did go wrong. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I'm gonna miss you guys next year after the past two years working with you. I really am. I'll do bonus. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, shoot. So, as many of you know, I'm taking a gap year this year. Um, and as many of you also know, this is my last day. I'm not going to be working with you all on track. Um, 
So I, I started back in August or September just because I was sitting around at home with nothing to do and I thought, hey, it would be fun just to hang out with these people and you know get to see what Las Gatos cross country is like. Um, and then the preseason kind of ended and people, we stopped, we stopped having practice for a while. And my family actually moved up uh, to Atherton, as some of you know. And I was pretty close, you know, once practice started up again, I was pretty close to messaging Paul and saying, hey, my commute's half an hour long each way. I don't really want to do this anymore. Um, but I stuck with it for a few weeks and, you know, got to know you guys a lot better. And honestly, if it wasn't for all of you, I would have just quit. Just, this has been the highlight of my day every single day, coming down here, watching you guys. Um, I didn't think, you know, at the end of all this that I would be so sad that I won't be here in track, but I'm really going to miss it. Um, you guys have made a huge impact on this, this past few months for me. Um, you're all really amazing people, not just, you know, on the cross country course or on the track. You're all really intelligent. You have a lot of potential and I'm really proud of everything you've done, you know, fighting through this weird pandemic season. Um, I won't be here for track, but if there are meets that you guys ever have that are in SoCal, please let me know. I'd love to come. Um, and some of you have my phone number, so if you ever have questions about running or life or school or whatever, feel free to text me or message me on Instagram. And I'll always be there for you, even if I'm not here as a coach. So thank you all, and thank you to Paul for letting me show up. I know it's a random face, but I Another, another hand for the coaches. I asked them, I asked them in the symbolic club <laughs> metaphor here. They have come up with some games for you guys to play to have fun. And what's at stake, this is is ten these are all ten dollar denominations, uh, ten parts of Jamba Juice and Lucy's favorite. Affordable treasures. But affordable treasures is like the competition. So, so, so how many of you have shopped at affordable treasures? Okay, so this is going to be really difficult because these may run out. <laughs> these may run out. So I'm going to just hand this over to you and let the games begin. Uh -oh. On Olympics. <laughs> Clown Olympics, boys. <laughs> Max, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Thank you to the coaches. It's been a great season. Um, shout out Connor behind the camera. Uh, that's it. Do I need to sign a photo release form? I love you. <laughs> Maybe. Is this for the yearbook? This isn't. <laughs> it's like it's front page. I want to win a gift card. I like it. I have a very cool eye. Look, we're gonna we're gonna win ultimate frisbee. You know why? Why? Because we are monkeys and not lizards. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no. What just happened? Uh, first pick of the twenty. Okay. Uh, twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Not twenty twenty. Twenty twenty one draft. Ultimate for a seat. We'll drink it. The, hard part. the second, pick. second pick. Keep the baby, the baby, the baby. The third pick is the baby. The baby has been picked. <laughs> oh yeah. Danny Jack. Bonner, Bonner. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The real debate is there, but you gotta be the Yeah, yeah, the baby. So bougie. Yeah.
Fun stuff. This has been Will Jenkins. It's, it's been very meaningful. And Jack Van. Adios. <laughs> Amigo. <laughs> we all just so funny.